We've seen how to move vertices, duplicate, and how to intersect. I would like to intersect these edges so I get intersection points here. And the way I should be doing that is you select them and right, you don't need to right click on them or right click anywhere, intersect selected edges. I would have expected to see them get intersected, but I don't see extra vertices and then the edges get subdivided. That's not happening. So why is that not happening? When I duplicated and rotated, I did not have my camera set up perfectly to look down the Z axis. And what that caused is hard to see unless you move in for a closer look. Now you can see that that vertice the Z coordinate is less than zero and this the Z coordinate is greater than zero. Now, how did I see transforms? You may be selected tool, but you want to go to item and the first option should be transform. If you're in object mode, this is the transform of your object using the origin. If you're in edit mode, it's the transform of what you have selected. And just to warn you, if you have two things selected or more, it's the median which is basically the midpoint of two things. And if there's three, it's the median or a center of the things you have selected. Okay, all I wanna do is get these, all these vertices to live on the X, Y plane. And so their Z coordinates need to be zero. And so I've selected the vertex. I'm just gonna zero out the Z coordinate, enter, nope. That's the X, uh, as I was saying, the Z coordinate, zero, enter. Z coordinates already zero, Z is zero, Z is zero, Z is zero. This Z is now zero. This point, if you need to, you can change that Z, but it's already zero. If you can manage to leave, make sure the camera doesn't leave this rotation so you're always looking down the z-axis then this won't more or less won't be an issue for you you can still rotate uh, and cause the z coordinate to change but when you're moving at least the z coordinate shouldn't change but if it does you'll usually need to change your camera rotation to fix it you can also use this to precisely set the xyz coordinates of any vertex that you need to now we're going to go ahead, highlight them all, intersect selected edges, and we do need to go back to vertex mode, and you can see that this achieved the result that I wanted. 